guys and welcome back to Style by McKenz. It has been a hot second since I've been on my YouTube channel, but I am back today for my first prom YouTube video. I, If you guys have been following me on the blog stylebymckenz.com, you know that I've been sharing prom posts every single Friday since the first Friday of March. So we are now um, nearing the end of April. My prom is not until May 17th, but I am trying to share affordable dress options, makeup, um, tips, just basically everything to make your prom really really awesome I am a senior in high school so like I said my prom will be May 17th and today I'm going to be sharing you all of my must-haves for the night just things that I think make your experience a little bit better um, so without further ado let's hop right first in. thing that you need is obviously a gorgeous dress that you feel confident in each week on stop by McKenzie I have shared different options I've shared designer gowns I've shared dresses under $30 I've shared dresses under $100 I've shared in-store options and online options as well so if you guys are still looking for a dress be sure to head on over to stylebymckenz.com and type prom into the search bar and tons of options will come up for you guys as I have been posting every single Friday obviously you need a beautiful dress that you're going to feel super confident in right now this is my favorite dress that I have received it is from Tarani Couture which is a designer that I collabed with two weeks ago I believe I have this stunning two-piece gown from them this is the top and then under Underneath the skirt is hanging as well. It is just a beautiful jersey with tulle over top. It's got a really, really flowy skirt once it's all fanned out. I'll insert a few pictures of me in this dress here. Anyways, I love the beading on this. It's a super beautiful gown, and I think that finding a dress that you feel super comfortable and confident in is really, really important. You want something that you're able to take pictures in and feel gorgeous in, but something that's really practical when you're dancing as well. Um, Tarani has so many awesome options. Like I said, they are a fancy designer, but they have so many options, whether you're going to prom, you're looking for a bridesmaid dress, mother of the bride, um, quinceanera, any special event like that, you should definitely check out Tarani. They have amazing options, and overall, I'm super Super, super pleased with the dress that they sent over they are on the pricier side but you are really getting what you pay for the quality of this dress is absolutely impeccable so like I said just invest in a dress that you are really going to love for years to come must have is a pair of comfortable heels I am a block heel lover I have over 10 pairs of this style heel in specific here is just a rose gold pair that I have from Old Navy my favorite places to get them are Old Navy Shein and Target especially DSW has some good options as well I just am sharing this rose gold pair just because it was the first one that I pulled off the shelf Typically a two-inch heel is perfect for me. I don't have to worry about being taller than my date They're super comfortable. Um, you want a block that way you don't sink into the grass if you are to take pictures And these are super comfortable at my school You do take off your shoes when you get to the dance Most girls just throw on a pair of converse underneath your dress that you're not gonna see just so that you're not in heels But if your school doesn't allow that or you are expected to wear shoes all night You don't have to sacrifice um, style just to be comfortable, just pick up a pair of heels that are super easy to walk in. I wear block heels pretty much on a daily basis and they're super comfortable. I have done my hair for every single high school dance that I've been to. I've never gone to the salon and got it done and I found that it works super well for me. I typically just curl my hair like this with a one and a half inch curling iron. Um, I love it, that's just what works best for me. I have super fine hair and what keeps my hair in place is the Gatsby Glued Blasting Free Spray, Screaming Hold Hairspray. And if you are a cheerleader, you definitely know what this stuff is. It is absolutely amazing. I know a lot of people don't like this because they think it makes their hair crunchy um, But if you spray it at about this far away, I don't know how far this is just take a guess um, I find that this is really really awesome. It keeps your hair in place all day um, My curls typically last two to three days. It just depends but for a dance I always 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 use this because it's definitely gonna keep your hair in place Obviously you can spray it a little bit closer if you're really trying to get a hold in if you use a teasing brush You can get all your baby hairs to lay down this will keep a braid in place if you're thinking about wearing an updo you definitely need to invest in this. It's like six bucks if you're a bottle. looking for a hair accessory, I think that they're super fun. Last year, I wore a flower crown, and I absolutely adored it. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be doing with my hair yet this year, so I haven't chosen an accessory, but I think that something in your hair is fun to spice it up if you are just going to be leaving it plain. This hair clip was $2 from Shein, um, under $2 once you use my code Q2 Style by McKenz, and I wore this for several of my prom shoots. I felt like it was just like the perfect little touch. It's spicy up the hair without being too much um, so if you are looking for something to just spice up your look a little bit 
try hair clip they're super trendy I have been getting tons of questions about how I tan for prom shoots and I used to never be a self tanner truthfully um, I just am naturally very tan as it is um, my dad is super tan so naturally I'm super tan and I get super beautiful glow in the summer but um, I do tend to get a spray tan before like homecoming or something. If you guys are local to me, you should head over to Hair Razors in Damascus. She has awesome um, Mystic Tan spray tanning booth. It's $25 to get a spray tan. It takes under 10 minutes. You basically just shave, exfoliate before you go in. You stand with your hands like this and then you turn around and stand with your hands like this. It sprays you up and down. It takes three minutes in the booth. Then you dry for a minute and you come out and you're good to go. You're super bronze. It does take about six hours to develop. But but the tan does not come off on your sheets, it does not come off on your clothes, it does not stain anything. Um, it does have a faint smell, but you wash yourself about, um, you can wash yourself as soon as six hours after you get the tan um, to get rid of that like faint tanning smell. And I love getting a spray tan, so like I said, if you are local, $25, it lasts about a week. Um, you should go and get that, but if you are not, the Mystic Tan Booth is what they have there. But recently I worked with Mystic Tan to share their Mocha Kissed Bronzer Plus Booster, and I absolutely love this stuff. I don't know if you can tell in the um, light that I've used about this much of it since I've gotten it. Um, this lotion's like super dark, like I'll be really honest, if I use this twice I'm as dark as if I got a spray tan which is insane for self tanner um, this is $15 for this bottle you can buy it at Target or Walmart so like it's really really easy to get whereas like Saint Tropez you have to use the mitt it costs a lot of money and it's like only available at Sephora and Ulta I think um, so I really like this as an option you do have to be sparse around your hands and your ankles just because obviously you're tanning so um, it does get a little weird around there but this stuff's awesome you just apply it opens like two different sides you apply this just as normal lotion and then you apply this side again just all over as normal lotion and this stuff works um, I used this pretty much like if I was going to shoot a prom dress on Sundays which is typical for me I would self tan Friday night and Saturday night and then be like as have the perfect glow on Sunday like I said I don't need a tan but when I am shooting stuff like prom dress is like a little more fancy extravagant um, I do like to have a tan and I do like to put something on so this is really awesome I cannot say enough good things about it I do have some makeup makeup must-haves over here just because I get tons of questions from you guys about prom makeup I will be doing a prom makeup tutorial probably within the next week or so um, but I want to share three of my favorite foundation options because I do get a lot of questions on foundation as to what works best what stays on the best and what photographs the best so my three favorite foundations are the wet and wild photo focus foundation this one photographs beautifully like you look flawless when you wear this foundation the Maybelline matte and poreless is my go-to I've used this for probably four years now um, this just makes your skin look so nice and then the Laura Mercier flawless luminaire radiance perfecting foundation is definitely a higher coverage foundation it does make you look like you're wearing a bit more makeup whereas these are a little bit more natural but this one stays on forever I find that all of these are really great I don't think that you need something that stays on super long for prom makeup just because you probably are doing your makeup around 3 p.m. and then um, obviously it's dark when you get to prom so like it really doesn't matter what it looks like but I feel that a foundation that doesn't break up and slide off your face is what matters and none of these three do it um, this one's under 10 this one's under 10 and then the Laura Mercier is a little more pricey but I do love this for special occasions another thing that is super important for prom night is a good primer um, I've used plenty of primers but right now my favorite is the Becca backlight priming filter I love this it's like shimmery when it's on your fingers but when you put it on your face I never feel shimmery but like when I look at my hands after applying it there's definitely a sheen left if that makes sense it just makes my skin glow I love this stuff I got it like as a free sample and I've really really been enjoying it just a good primer that will keep your makeup from sliding around all night is super important um, I've been getting lots and lots of questions about my favorite highlighter. Um, I use lots of Wet n Wild highlighters. They are under $5 and they are so good. They are super similar to the Anastasia Glow Kits. I do have an Anastasia Glow Kit as well. I love it, but if you're looking for an affordable option, I would definitely recommend um, the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powders. This one is in the shade Golden Flower Crown and this is the one that I wore to prom last year and I've worn in like the last two shoots that I've done. It's just a really, really beautiful gold. It is so pigmented. 
perfect for the high points of your face. You can even use it as an eyeshadow if you'd like. And this was so perfect for last year. My theme last year was like um, really gold glowy. And um, obviously I had the flower crown. I really wanted to be very earthy with the green tones and white flowers. And when I found this, I was like looking for a gold highlighter because my favorite Wet n Wild one it has more pink undertones and it was called Golden Flower Crown. I was like, that's perfect. The next thing that I would recommend, um, just if you're looking for something to spice up your makeup, I don't go and get my makeup done, I do it myself for dances, is the MAC Fix Plus. This stuff makes your eyeshadows pop like no one's business. Um, I love this stuff. I cannot say enough good things about it. I had heard beauty gurus rave about it on YouTube for years and years and I never understood why until I bought it. This not only transforms your eyeshadow but your highlight as well. You spray it on your brush before, use it, and you'll be like, whoa. Another thing that I would recommend if you are thinking about the lip route, like what you're going to do lipstick wise, um, I usually wear a lip gloss or a lipstick and it wears off within like 15 minutes and I just reapply it. But when I shot photos a lot, I was wearing the lip, um, Any Color Lip Scents. I know that a lot of people don't like lip scents because they do sting a little bit when you put them on and they have sort of a weird taste to them, but they do really stay on like crazy. Uh, these are only sold by like a distributor, a distributor, or you can get them off of Amazon. But I love um, lip scents for the purpose that they do stay on for hours. They will not transfer when you eat or drink or anything. I'm thinking about wearing one for prom just because I do have so many of them. Um, I'm gonna do like a trial run with my face and then try on two different lips and see which one I like. My next question that I've been getting a lot is about eyelashes. I recommend wearing fake lashes for prom. I think that it just really enhances your look. It makes you look super bold, pretty, confident, all of the above. Um, I use the Ardell Demi Wispies in the number 105. And this is like obviously a new pack of five. And I typically get about... You're really only supposed to use eyelashes like three times, but I had one pair that I wore for a cheer competition and I was like, I wonder how many uses I can get out of it. And I probably used the eyelashes like 18 times and they were still fine. I just kept sticking them. I'd pick off the glue. I'd put new glue on and put it back on. So you can really use these for a long time if you take care of them and don't clump them up so much. Um, it's about $4 for a pair of eyelashes. Definitely worth the investment. Um, totally transforms your prom makeup and just makes you look super beautiful, I think. I use the Ardell Duo Strip Lash Adhesive to apply it. I have it in the shade Dark. I don't recommend getting it in the dark, get it in the clear. Just because the dark, if you do like move at the last second, it will show up black because the glue is black. Um, so go for the clear if you can. The pink bottle is the one that's My black. last recommendation is a jewelry recommendation. And I, again, I keep saying I get lots of questions, but these are basically everything I'm talking about today in my must-haves video are things that I've been getting lots of questions about related to prom. And I've been getting a lot on jewelry. For most of my prom shoots, I wore my Kendra Scott necklace and a pair of Walmart earrings. All of my clip-on earrings are from Walmart. I do have to convert them into clip-ons because I don't have my ears pierced, but I buy all of them from Walmart to begin with. Um, their Time and True line sells amazing earrings for $4. They're always under $4. Um, just really, really trendy statement earrings. I know lots of vloggers have been sharing Walmart finds lately and like Walmart fashions becoming this new like little trend. And I'm all here for it. I love Walmart jewelry and have for a while. This rose gold pair I wore in, I have in gold as well. And I think out of the 11 prom dresses I shot, I probably wore these earrings in eight of them. These are my go-to for any occasion. It doesn't matter if it's a date, it's a dance, it's a dinner. I wear these earrings to everything. They are so perfect. So definitely check out Walmart if you're looking for some jewelry that won't break the bank, but it looks super expensive. So that is going to be all for my prom must-haves. I really hope you guys enjoyed hearing some of my favorites that I've been using as I have shot all of these prom looks over the last few weeks. I'm so, so glad that you guys are enjoying my prom series as much as you are. If you, again, if you are looking for a dress, an affordable option, an expensive option, any anything that your heart desires be sure to check out the blog style by mckens.com I really have tried to cater to everyone's needs and of course check out Tarani Couture if you're looking for a beautiful designer gown thanks so much for stopping by I will talk to you guys next week